Hello. Welcome to another video or just straight up welcome if you're new. My name is Anita and I have a new pen day video for you today. And I am so excited the boxes are not open. I did really good compared to the last pen I unboxed. So I am not waiting anymore. Let's just get to it. Alrighty. I am so excited. I am so excited. I am most excited for the other pen. But I am still excited for this one too. I can't lie. And I was on the fence, I have to say. I didn't know if I really wanted to get it. Because I like, when I find a brand that I like, I want all the colors. But I wasn't sure if I wanted this color. And I was penabled by my daughter who said, just get it. I couldn't decide if I would be regretful if I didn't. So I did it. And here it is. All right, let's see. Can you tell what it is? You can probably guess if you're watching this in, um, I guess, a timely fashion, meaning soon after I posted it, if it's like much later, you have no idea. But if you're watching this in the late winter of 2024, you know what this is. This is an Esther book. SD and the color I guess is snow winter white I don't know why I call it snow because snow is white let's move that out of the way I didn't know if I really wanted it I mean I did but I didn't know how much and I was trying to decide if I'd be regretful if I didn't and I realized I would. So, I love their boxes. They're just so kind of kind of retro. And here is the pen. Ah. Oh. This is the um warranty with a code. You just scan it and you can register your pen. Um, black ink cartridge, and then this baby. I'm glad I I did it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I did. Oh, so pretty. I'm just back here with a big cheesy grin. Comes with a cartridge converter. What did I get? I got a broad nib. And there we go with that. It's branded Esther book, which is so nice. It's just so pretty. Pen is translucent. You can see the converter in there. You could probably see the ink when you put it in there, but I don't really care about that. I like demonstrators. This is very nice. I am so excited. I don't know what to say. I have unboxed um, Esther Brooks before. Let's just see how many turns to uncap because I don't remember. That's one and a half. And it's a cushion cap, which gives you, in my experience, a better seal. With your ink, your pen stays wet. The ink doesn't dry out so fast at all. This is great. I am going to give it a rinse and we'll dip test it in a little bit. But this is, oh, it's so pretty. The latest addition to my collection, the Estherbrook SD in Winter White. So cute. Let's just give her a place to rest. 
right there. I love it. Let's move on to the next one. Now this was a harder one to um, make up my mind on because I, I fell in love with a pen that is no longer in production. And the realist in me says, you know what? You're probably not gonna get it. Maybe you'll find something like it, but you know, you know what? Just don't worry about it. See what happens. Don't don't stress. It's a pen. You're not short of pens, and there's no shortage of pens in the world. So when this was released, I realized kind of too late. And I well, I thought I was too late. And I said, Wow, I missed out. So I saw an unboxing video and I will um, put the channel name on the screen because um, right now it's escaping me because I'm so excited. Anyway, she totally enabled me when I said, oh, I love your pen. I, I love it, but I realized I probably missed out. And she said, no, you didn't. I looked. <laughs> so I went and looked and I didn't. So I got it and I'm so, I am so excited for this one because this is different. I'm excited. Okay, let me just move this over and get the pen out of the box. This box is a little big and awkward and I don't want to hit the phone. Oh, here it comes. Da da da. My first grande Leonardo Memento Zero. Wow, I feel like I'm a grown up. I'm growing up in my pen journey, y'all. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. Oh. All right nothing of vast importance here is the box this is my first grande and the box is pretty big how appropriate okay slide it out of the sleeve and what have we now is this another sleeve oh, no okay it's the moment. Y'all are sharing it with me for real. Let's go. Oh, wow. Okay. The usual branding on the inside. And the Galatica series. Oh, goodness. Here she is. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so excited. Let's get her out of there. Don't need that. Oh my gosh, let's move the box. So pretty. Am I in frame? Oh my gosh, let me move this, it's making shadows. I love the color. This is so pretty. I am so excited. I don't need that either. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. The clip looks a little short. It's probably the same size as on the Memento Zero. That's the only thing that kind of makes me say, what What were y'all thinking on that one? But the, the resin is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Am I in frame? Yes, okay. It's so pretty. Let's see how many turns to uncap. One full turn. And this is um, a piston filler. I'm assuming because I see a window for ink. I don't even know. I just saw the pen and said I want it. How horrible is that? Anyway, <laughs> I got this with a medium nib because that was the only option for me. There were, the other nibs were smaller and I'm not about that 
that small nib life. Not, not really. To me, medium is small enough. But she's so pretty. And um, let me just bring back the SD. Oh, wow. So my two new additions, I'm so excited. I'm going to give them both a rinse and dip test them. I'm gonna try and hold on until um, April 1st to ink them up for April's currently inked. But let's just take a moment. Please bear with me. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm going to rinse them off and be right back. Okay, before we get on to the, um, the dip testing and writing sample part of this, I thought I would compare these two pens to some other pens in my collection. And they're all inked right now, all the ones I'm comparing with. So I've got my um, Leonardo Momento Zero in Aloha. This is a cartridge converter to fill. And this Grande, which I've just received, is a piston filler. Then the Esterbrook Esty. Looks like all the other Esterbrook Estes that I have. The Twisby Eco in um, creme and rose gold. Let's get them all at the same height. I've got a uh, Lamy All Star and blue green and a Pilot Kakuno because I love my little pilots. They're so fun. And let me see what else. All right, and um, a Twisby Diamond 580, which I think is just a little longer than the Eco. Let's see. Just a little bit. So there they are. I'm so excited. I'm speechless and excited about this and obviously I can't talk. Okay, and I was right about the clips. They are the same length, which I don't know, on the Grande, it would look better, I think with a slightly longer clip, but that's my opinion. Everybody's got one of those. All right, and I'll uncap them so you can compare lengths that way. Hopefully I don't make a mess out of my little thing here. I just got tired of pens rolling around. So I'm using this jewelry thing that I have. Oh wow, that's so pretty. The Leonardo has um, a steel nib. It's in the gold finish but the nib is steel, as is the Esterbrook Esty. None of these pens have gold nibs. Am I still in frame? Yes, I am. I'm winning. All right, and this. I can write with all of these uncapped, but I typically post the the Kakuno because it's a, it's slightly short for me, but the others are not a problem at all, which is kind of weird. I'm looking now at the SD. It looks about the same as the Kakuno. I find the SD comfortable when it's not posted. The Kakuno, I don't know why, I think I cap it, i rather I post it, because I'm not worried about damaging it because it's a very inexpensive pen. I don't want to damage it, but I'm not bothered by, you know, a little wear and tear from use. Whereas with the other pens, 
actually all of them. I don't do it with any of the others. I don't post them because I don't want to add to any wear and tear that I'm going to do anyway. Because while they're all very precious to me, uh, financially, some are more precious than others. <laughs> Keeping it real. So I don't want to ruin anything before it's time. So typically, I will post the Kakuno, but the others I won't. And yes, let's move along to um, a quick writing sample. I'm going to dis dip test the two new pens. All right, I had to light a candle so I could just calm down. I am so excited about this pen. I've been wanting to try one of these and I really didn't have any plans to make it happen, but then I saw this and I wanted it, but I thought I was too late, but I'm not, so I'm really excited. Okay, I will dip test the, the um, SD so it's not left out and lonely. I'm using Pirate Pilot. I'm so tongue-tied. Pilot Iroshizuku Kirisame. Hmm. Oh, calm down, calm down. We'll do this first. This SD with a broad nib because I love my broads. They make me happy. All right. Move this. My view, am I in frame? I think I am. All right. That feels good. I love my broads. I have no complaints. That was wonderful. And I was really in the moment. I can usually talk through this sentence. Who doesn't know about the quick brown fox, right? Okay. And now, I have stuff everywhere. It's such a hot mess outside of the frame. Okay. Now the Leonardo and this has a medium nib and let's get this one going. I'm gonna put that top on, but I don't think I'm gonna spill that. It's a wonderful bottle that looks beautiful and it's well designed okay oh did i not get enough ink let's try that again yeah i didn't go quite far enough i think that's better I like that too. And this is and 
this is a medium nib. I think I've got the name right. Because let me tell you, me and names don't always get along. Let's let me just double check that real quick. Where did I throw it? I'm terrible. I don't know what I did. We're just going to go with this. All right. I got it. It's okay. Crisis averted. Ah, okay. And this ink, for the sake of being complete, is Pilot... Iro Shizuko Kirisame. I like it. I have been using fountain pens for a minute, but not consistently, just like randomly. And I'd always bought like disposable pens or really inexpensive ones. But when I fell on the rabbit hole, Kirisame was the first ink I bought. So it holds a special place in my heart. So here we go for my, my new pen day. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Get out of here, Ink. I'm so excited for these two pens. And they look so nice together. I am looking forward, and I always look forward anyway, to um, picking out pens and inks for April. What I picked out this month was more of an experiment in trying new things. So it didn't have the same emotional feeling for me that I get when I'm just purely looking for things that really just make me happy. April is going to be my happy month after my um, my scientific month of March. And I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by, checking out my new pens. I love them so much. And I will um, see you in the next video. I'll have the pens linked below where I picked them up. Take care. Have a great day.